This video is about the fourth Marcus of Londonderry, Frederick Stewart. Frederick was the eldest son of the third Marcus of Londonderry and is pictured here together with his mother Catherine Stewart. Catherine died when Frederick was very young and his father was seldom at home due to his commitment to the army when fighting in the Napoleonic Wars. He was brought up by his aunt and uncle, Lord and Lady Castlereagh, in their home in London, and he attended Eton College. As a young man, he travelled a lot, especially to the Middle East, during which time he wrote a book entitled Journey to Damascus. He was elected Member of Parliament for County Down from 1826 until 1852. He was a frequent visitor to County Wicklow to the home of the 6th Viscount Powers Court. This picture is of the house at Powers Court. Frederick was attracted to the wife of the 6th Viscount. She was the daughter of the 3rd Earl of Roden of Castle Well in County Down. She was born in 1813 and married the 6th Viscount in 1836 and was widowed in 1844. After the death of the 6th Viscount of Powers Court, Lady Elizabeth married Frederick Stewart in 1846. Frederick succeeded his father as the 4th Marquess of Londonderry in 1854 and was made a Knight of the Order of St. Patrick in 1856. As a result of the influence of the Roman Catholic Cardinal Newman, Lady Elizabeth converted to Roman Catholicism in 1855. She paid for the building of a new chapel and Catholic school in Newton Arts in 1877. Frederick built a monument Scrabble Tower overlooking the town of Newton Ards in memory of his father, the third Marcus of Londonderry. The plaque above the door of the tower is inscribed in memory of Charles William Vane, third Marcus of Londonderry. The fourth Marcus died on the 20th of November 1872 at Hastings in Sussex and was buried in the Priory Church in Newton Arts. His wife Elizabeth died in 1884 and was buried alongside her husband in the Priory Church. <laughs>